Welcome, my name is Matt Bautel, and in this lesson, we're gonna learn about maps. In front of you is an app that I created uh, that is a very simple vacation tracker, something that you could use if you were driving cross country and you wanted to mark different places that you had been. Uh, even play the license plates game if you know what I'm talking about. We'll talk about it. Let's take a look at the app. So have it running right here. And you'll see that it starts off um, centered. I actually have it hard coded, so it starts off centered at Terre Haute, which is where Rose Holman is. Uh, and um, so we start here, and if we click anywhere on the map, we can place markers, right? So let's just say um, let's just say that we wanted to to press somewhere here on the map. All right, what should happen is um, we have the opportunity to add a marker there. All right, so I was pressing on on Memphis, so I'm going to go ahead and and add that in here. And it will say that Memphis has has good barbecue. All right, and we click on there and click OK. And then we see that we get a new marker drop down right here. Uh, so that's the first thing. Um, clicking on a marker is going to detect it, right? So so right now it, it centers back on here and, and it says, you know, it says what Memphis is, and it gives me my little title and my snippet here. Uh, and then I have something special. So if I if I click back on the one for Terre Haute. Then on all of them, I, I, I det detect it right here, but I also have a special condition that, that lets me know that I clicked Terre Haute. Uh, I have a title, no snippet on, on that one. Uh, different things that I can do here. Um, so I can search for things by place name or address. Right. So if I click on the little map um, up here, it'll give us a, a, a little dialogue and say, well, I've given the White House here as an example. I suppose we could use that. Uh, or let's, let's use something else here. So maybe on my vacation, I'm going to go to um, Estes Park, which is out in Colorado. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll say that just in case. Oops, Colorado. And we'll do a zoom in on that. I'll click OK. And we'll give it a second to go figure that out. And we'll see that, that it comes back here zoomed in. Uh, presumably, this is the, the town center of Estes Park. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so we can get some context. Uh, there we see the Estes Park. And it's surrounded by the um, by the Rocky Mountain National Forest here, or National Park. Um, so so very nice, right? So I can I can zoom uh, to different places. I can I can find them. Uh, the last thing here is you'll notice that I have this button um, that if I click it, that's going to go back to my current location and going to be zoomed in. So this is going to an animate us all the way back over to Rose Holman, and we can see that we have our, our sort of the, the blue circle here shows our current location. And we could zoom in or out as, as much as we wanted to. Uh, I do have one more thing to show you. So I'm going to zoom out so we can see several states here. Uh, so when we travel, my kids like to uh, like to play the, the license plate game. So we like to collect different plates from, from different states as we go. Uh, so let's see, we'll go out here. Whoops, a little bit too far. Um, but we'll see that, that every state is is highlighted ever so slightly. Let's just say that as we were driving, we found a, a, a license plate from Illinois. We could we could click on that and then it would it would shade it in. Right. And then, you know, maybe we saw one from Kansas, maybe one from Texas, uh, you know, one from Nebraska and so on. Right. So we, we have the opportunity of of selecting um, different states as as we as we drive around here. Um, it's kind of a neat thing. Uh, so we'll, we'll use that to learn about polygons. Right. So that's where we're going in this app. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of fun creating it. Uh, so the kind of skills that we're gonna need uh, to be able to do this. Um, first thing, well, clearly we're gonna we're gonna be able to build maps that that display maps. Um, so so no problem there. Uh, these markers, right? So these little pins right here. So we're gonna learn how to add those and listen to clicks for them. Um, how to get your current location. So to add this little button right here, so it can do its work. Um, we'll use the process of, of finding place names or address or whatever is something that's called geocoding. So we'll dig into that to see what Google provides us there. Uh, and then finally, um, learning how to draw on the map using polygons, like how I shaded the states. So that's our goals. Um, what we're actually going to do is get a little bit different format this time. So this, this lab, uh, or I should say that this unit has no lab. Uh, really, most of the work is is done as a as a code along. So if you're going to click this this link here, uh, then you will uh, then it'll bring you to a document. And I'm going to pull that guy up right here. Uh, 
right? And this will this will bring us right into the to the top here. And uh, when we come back, we'll start here, start following instructions, and going through and make this app. All right, we'll see you when you come back. Mm -hmm.